So, uh, hello everyone, and welcome back. This is Icy Cup Railcoon here for Root Gaming's uh, YouTube page at youtubecom rootgaming. and uh, you should also tune in to our website at root-gaming.com. Uh, we have a forum there, so you should go vis visit and post there. Be able to talk to all of the um, be able to talk to all of the Root Gaming members there on the forum. And uh, apparently, these two are playing during Gosu Camp. So, be interested to see what QXC does, as he was trying out quite a few new builds while he was at Ghost Camp, really just playing uh, StarCraft 2 all the time. Um, so we do see QXC as the Purple Terran at 12 o'clock, and Sheth as the Blue Zerg at 3 o'clock. So, uh, close-ish ground spawns. They do have that watchtower in between them, and if you try and run straight by this you know, method, there's probably going to be some marauders up on that cliff killing your units. So that doesn't work out too well most of the time, and uh, you wind up having to go around a little bit. So, both players uh, starting off pretty normally. Uh, QXC does get a pretty good scout. I think he did see the uh, Overlord, because Chef says hi, SCV. I'm not sure if QXC actually saw it or not, but since he does say hi SCV, he will be aware of the fact that Sheth is over there and get his SCV into his base immediately. Uh, Sheth is not going to feel safe going hatch first. Close positions, especially since his opponent knows that they are in these positions on metal, so he will be able to pressure that expansion. Goes for the spawning pool first, as QXC starting pretty normally, just waiting to see what he decides to do. But these two are teammates, and of course they are the two that played the hour-long uh, TVZs on Lost Temple and Steps of War earlier in the beta, before the tank nerf, which was painful to watch. Uh, it got to the point where QXC had so many tanks that the Ultras were literally unable to get into melee with them, and uh, so yeah, good thing they changed that one, but QXC's, you know, just... Chilling, still on one barracks, almost up to 100 gas, so we might see him drop a factory here in a moment. Looks like that is what he is about to do. So he sends this SCV over here, yeah, there's the factory. Probably going to see a reactor as soon as he hits 50 gas. And start off with some pretty normal Helene openings. Sheth actually not dropping an expansion yet, which is a little bit atypical for Sheth. He usually likes to be pretty hardcore macro player. He's actually sitting back and going one base lair. So we could see the same sort of one base muta play out of Chef. Actually, instead, dropping a Roach Warren. Probably going to get really aggressive Roach speed and maybe a plus one attack and go for, you know, a timing break onto QXC. As, uh, especially since it's Chef, players would not expect this sort of a play from him. As he usually just likes to get his expo up and macro, 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 macro macro some more. So, gonna have to wait and see if he's indeed gonna be super aggressive with these roaches, or if he's just gonna wait until his roaches out until he expands. The factory is over onto the reactor now. He's gonna start producing some Hellions. The SCV will get in here and he's gonna scout out this one base layer with a roach warren. So he is gonna be, uh, have some good scouting information might even save his Hellenes and not send them out now. We will have to find out as uh, I don't see... There they go! Two Hellenes are out. Uh, he's gonna scout around the map, but I would not expect him to be too aggressive with them seeing this one base Roach play from Sheth, who's actually now dropping a Spire. So he could do a sneaky sneaky switch over to Mutas on one base. Sheth really stepping outside of his normal uh, play here, and it's interesting to see because I haven't really seen Chef play like this before. So I'm really not sure what it is he's going to be doing. Uh, QXC going uh, Ghost Academy. We saw him do this against Machine earlier, so uh, could just have Mass Snipe on the way again. Yay! It was actually pretty fun to watch. He dropped a bunch of nukes on him as well, and. Uh, he does sort of do this Hellion Ghost opening. That's actually worked it out to a decent build, so not too surprising to see that Ghost Academy out. Um, he did a pretty good job with it against Machine, like I said earlier. 
So it really depends on what Sheth is going to do here. His expansion is a bit later. So he's not going to be able to get as many units out to fight this uh, QXC, putting some pressure on that hatchery. Uh, Hellions do kill you know, hatchery very, very slowly, but if Sheth just lets him sit there, he will be able to kill it eventually. So he's drawing the uh, roaches off of the ramp, going to do some damage to them. And just buying some time as the first couple of ghosts come onto the field, you can drop on another barracks. Salvage that bunker for a few more minerals. And move on to this ghost play. With this build, you see him get the energy first, just so every ghost pops out with 75 energy. We'll start with three snipes. That's really uh, what this build revolves around, is getting the Hellions out to melt the Zerglings so that the ghosts do not have to waste their time on the Zerglings. And then he can just snipe everything else. Roaches get sniped. Um, Beetalisks take a bunch of damage from ghosts normally. And can he get sniped on top of that. But he doesn't have any turrets up, so he's busy trying to chase his mutas around. And this one muta gets away with one health. Oh my god. Jeff doing a good job of microing this, killing a bunch of workers. And just bouncing back and forth, outmaneuvering the uh, slower Terran ground army. Another snipe does go off and pick off that low health Mutalisk there as he is buying time to get some Mutas out onto the field. He did leave a couple of ghosts behind at the top here into the main. Two more snipes going off to weaken up those Mutas and the missile turrets do finish building. So Sheth's going to have to back off. Um, might see him transition into Roaches here but with this uh, ghost build that QXC is doing. He's going to be able to get a decent number of uh, ghosts out on the field. He, When he did it against Machine, he was mixing Marauders in as well. So that it was actually just a strong all-around build. The hardest thing he had the hardest time with was actually Mass Zerglings, even though he has those, had those Hellions out. So hopefully we'll see him get Hellions and that Pre-Igniter a little bit faster. Maybe keep them alive a little bit longer to help protect those ghosts. But, you know, two more ghosts on the field, he's going to be up to about five, start gathering energy for a lot of snipes, which is what he needs against the roaches. But Sheth is going straight to an infestation pit, which, I don't know, maybe for fungal growth? But ghosts have a lot of health, it'll take, like, three fungals to kill a ghost. But there's a nuke being researched, a very quick nuke by QXE, faster than he did it last time against Machine. Um, curious about the timing of that, if he's actually going to go for an aggressive nuke here. Just because it, it will throw off your opponent a decent amount of, oh my god, you're trying to nuke me? Seriously? So, you know, Ghost coming in here, sniping one of those mutas and doing a decent amount of damage. Hellion's in front. Could see him try to drop a nuke here, as uh, Jeff does not have a ton of ground forces. He might be able to get it off, but does not look like it. Ghosts get a little bit left behind by the Hellions, so he has to stop the Hellions, keep them along, stopping to snipe the Roaches, but the Roaches appear to be a little bit faster. Let me check that. Actually, they're the exact same movement, but the Mutas will be able to put some damage on them as they're running away. That one Ghost is going to die. He does shoot off one more snipe before he goes down, just to use his energy, get 45 damage off. Last Muta gets killed by a nice snipe there. So, QXC not quite able to put too much pressure onto Sheth here, but we do see him adding a bunch more uh, barracks. Should see some Marauders thrown into the mix pretty soon as well. And once he gets those Marauders out, he'll just have a really well-balanced force with those Snipes, the Hellions, and a possible Nuke being dropped. So, Sheth is in fact making uh, Infestors get some Fungal Growth out, is not researching either of the upgrades. Uh, I wonder if you... Neural Parasite, a ghost, if you can launch a nuke. That would be pretty amazing. Like, it probably wouldn't do anything, but you'd be wasting the nuke for him. Like, 100, 100 resources thrown out the door. He can't use it on you. Um, just gotta test that, I guess. Uh, Hellion's actually gonna kill the roaches outright. Because there weren't many Hellions, and weren't many roaches, and he was out microing them. So, uh, QXC still making pretty much mass ghosts, no sign of those marauders just yet. Building his third command center right about the same time that Chef starts his hatchery. And as both players are sort of expanding, I will break this VOD in half. So, 